Well, take a look. This is Atlanta's new top cop. Today, Atlanta Mayor Reed named Erica Shields the city's next police chief. And she'll take over after Chief George Turner retires at the end of the month. Fox House Morris Diggs first told you about Turner's decision last night. Morris, what does Shields' appointment mean for the future of our city? Well, you know, she seems well suited with a good knowledge of the inner workings of the department and good relationships across Atlanta's diverse communities. In a sense, this is like a one year audition for Erica Shields because there will be a new mayor at stake for her personally and for the city. Can she cut crime? I will appoint today Deputy Chief Erica Shields as the new chief of the Atlanta Police Department. Erica Shields is the second woman to take over the largest municipal force in Georgia. She will replace George Turner. The current commander of APD's uniform division was asked if she thought her gender might pose a problem. I don't think that the challenges I face will be gender based. I think they'll be criminal, crime based. And um, <laughs> so. To fortify the officers against criminals, one of Shields' initiatives was to accelerate the rifle program. Before 2016, just a small percentage of city cops showed marksmanship on a weapon that currently is seen as critical to public safety. Eric Shields is career APD. She has the foundation to be one of the best and most qualified police department leaders. I think in the country. And I have been so fortunate to experience a variety of assignments that all have taught me much. I am extremely proud of the progress that the department has made over the last seven years. Do you have any new strategies that you can think of for our viewers, for the citizens who are concerned about this youth crime? We have a strategic plan that governs us through the end of the year. And I, like many of my colleagues, was part of that design. And we will continue and we will stay committed and on our path through the end of the year. And when the new year comes, we will develop and reassess the space that we are in. Now, I found uh, Chief Shields to be an open-minded manager. For example, uh, regarding the rifle program, uh, she was asking me about the fact that uh, so many of the officers would not take part in the training, would not sign up for it. I asked her, I said, well, why doesn't the city pay for the rifles like Cobb County does and some of the other suburban departments? And she said, she took the idea and said, okay, we will. And after she did that, uh, many more of the officers signed up for the training, and we've got a lot more officers who know how to use that weapon right now. Reporting live from Zone 2, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. Thank you, Morse.